try to get my fans so on they dig on me. What you about to sell? I'm thinking about trail. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles 2K coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm back with more player props for today's game slate on Thursday, March 23rd. And as always, if you guys are new to prize picks or you guys are new to underdog and you guys would like to sign up, check the pinned comment down below for my referral codes. Both codes will match whatever you guys do decide to deposit on each app up to $100 with a minimum deposit of $10. So if you guys are interested, you guys can check that out. And before we do get into the new picks of today's video, we must recap the ones we had yesterday. So yesterday we had Jimmy Butler over his five assists. He went and got nine, absolutely crushed the line. We had Anthony Davis over 25 and a half points, which he did make us sweat a little bit in the beginning, but he did go over and for our third pick in uh yesterday's video we had stephen curry over five assists which he absolutely crushed his assist line too with 13 assists so yesterday we had a full-on sweep so if you guys tailed any of these congratulations on cash now with all that being said now the way let's go ahead and get into the first prop of today's video it is going to be in the rebounding category and we're going to be going with brandon ingram over five rebounds now if i do open up brandon ingram stats over the last five games when it does come to his rebounds he's only averaging 3.8 okay he's been struggling when it does come to rebounds but i'm gonna show you guys why i like this prop so against the spurs he had four rebounds against houston he had two against the lakers he had six against dallas he had four and against sacramento he had three and if i do head over to fantasypros.com and check the defense versus position tonight that brandon ingram will be facing he's going up against the hornets guys all right so as you guys can see if i scroll down to the hornets they are allowing 22.83 points this season and 8.31 rebounds this season to the small four position both which are highlighted in green which means it is an easy matchup for brandon ingram also if i do head over to statmuse.com and i check brandon ingram stats over the last five games against the hornets brandon ingram is averaging 22 points he's averaging 9.2 rebounds and 4.8 assists in those last five games against them and he's cleared his rebound line once twice three four five out of the last five times that he has played them with nine eight nine fourteen and six also if i do head over to props.cash and i type in brandon ingram's rebound line over the full season he's averaging 4.9 out of his last 10 games he's averaging 4.4 out of his last five games he's averaging four but against charlotte he's averaging nine now when we do break down charlotte's defense they are ranked number 21 in rebounds allowed they're ranked number 24 in offensive rebounds allowed they're ranked number 30 in defensive rebounds allowed and they're ranked number 11 to the small forward defense and that was going to be all the reason behind why i do love brandon ingram to go over five rebounds tonight the matchup is there the history is there against the team all he has to do is go out and get them i expect him to get these before halftime honestly or be very very close to it and now for the next pick in today's video it is going to be in the points category and we're going to be going with Kawhi leonard over 29 and a half points and now i know a lot of you guys might be saying 29 and a half is kind of crazy for Kawhi, but i'm gonna show you guys why i do like this prop so out of Kawhi's last five games he's averaging 27.4 points against okc who he's playing against tonight he had 21 against Portland he had 24 against the Warriors he had 30 against New York he had 38 and against Toronto he had 24 so you guys do know in today's matchup there's going to be no PG PG was recently hurt in the last game they did uh play against OKC he collided with Lou Dort uh messed up his hyper extended his knee or something like that so PG is out and what that means for Kawhi Leonard is everybody on that team including Kawhi Leonard their usage is going to go way up Kawhi is going to see more shots everything is going to run through Kawhi. you know they already run through him basically when pg is there pg is more just primarily ball handler russ is going to facilitate and stuff like that but every chance they do get they're going to play through Kawhi, and that's not going to change tonight all right if anything they're going to try to play through Kawhi even more because there is no paul joe and if i do head over to statmuse.com and i type in Kawhi leonard stats uh over the last five games without paul george Kawhi Leonard is averaging 29.4 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 3.4 assists. Also, if I do type in Kawhi Leonard stats over the last five games against OKC, Kawhi Leonard is averaging 29.6 points, 7.4 rebounds, and 4.0 assists in those last five games. And when it does come to his point line, he has cleared that point line once, twice, three out of the last five times they have played. When it does come to field goal percentage against them, Kawhi Leonard is shooting right at 50%. When it does come to three-pointers attempted against them, he's shooting 6.4 and making at least 2.6. And when it does come to his three-point percentage overall, he's shooting 40%. When it does come to free throws attempting, he's shooting seven and he's making at least 6.2. Also, if I do head over to props.cash and I take a look at Kawhi Leonard's points, over the full season, he's averaged 23.7. Out of his last 10 games, he's averaging 29.2. Out of his last five games, he's averaging 27.4. And versus OKC, the last time you know they did play, he had 21. And now when we do break down OKC's defense, they're ranked number 20 in points allowed. They're ranked number 12 in field goal percentage allowed. They're ranked number 26 in three pointers allowed. They're ranked number 15 in three point percentage allowed. They're ranked number 29 in free throws allowed. And they're ranked number 19 to the small forward defense. And that right there is going to be all the reasons behind why I do 
love Kawhi Leonard to go over 29 and a half points tonight. He just recently played this team and had 21 with Paul George on the floor. So there is no more Paul George and I expect more usage from Kawhi. And now moving on to our next pick, our third and final pick, it is going to be a guaranteed lock. And it is going to be over on Thrive Fantasy for SGA to score at least 0.5 points, which is one point, which we all know SGA will score. And now in order for you guys to access this free square, you will have to go over to Thrive Fantasy that will be linked in the pin comment down below. So just click that link. Once you guys do sign up, deposit at least $10. Once you guys have deposited your $10, all you have to do is check the board and this free square will be available to you guys to use. You can pair with anything in today's video or pair with some that you guys would like yourself. But uh, yeah, pretty small slate today. You know, I got two picks that I do like and then, you know, we got the free square and those picks are going to be Brandon Ingram over five rebounds, Kawhi Leonard over 29 and a half points and SGA to score 0.5 points over on Thrive Fantasy. And as always, if you guys don't like these picks or you guys want more picks or you guys want to discuss more picks, all you guys have to do is check the description of today's video. Click that link, join my Discord. Once you guys do click it, you will be automatically in there. 100% free of charge. I don't charge for nothing because none of this stuff is guaranteed. But that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like on today's video. Don't forget to drop a comment. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications. It's me, your boy, Charles Duque. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.